show the whole world what we're all about. Be the girls with the passion for passion. Hi guys, so today I'm doing the Bratz Challenge. Mark is going to be doing the Bratz Challenge. This is so much fun, you guys. Um, I definitely just wanted to um, join the bandwagon because I love Bratz. I actually grew up <laughs> playing with Bratz dolls myself. I'll tell you a little story. Why is it I get um, doing with the makeup? So I am going to be using this image from the Bratz, from the Instagram Bratz.galaxy. And it's like a paper magazine, blue, super cool, super cute. Ah, uh, love brats. So these eyebrows are a little bit more upturned and arched. So I'm going to try and replicate that for my eyebrows. I'm going to make this super cartoony for sure. I'm a little bit sniffly as well, you guys. I'm so, I'm getting ill, which is not cute. I don't, I'm not into that at all. The reason why I'm doing this bit at the beginning is because this Bratz in particular, the picture has the upturned eyebrows. I'm going to use my Super Size Conceal and Define in C7 from Makeup Revolution and just carve out the eyebrows with this. It's actually super, super hot in this room right now. These lights are too much, but then when I open the window, you can hear the wind from the outside. Nope. Cute. <laughs> mm. <laughs> These eyebrows will be looking crazy. I'm gonna use my all night long uh, Barry I'm stick and waffle. I um, usually just use this as like a corrector for my beard because as I um, grow older, my hair grows darker so now when I have to put foundation on I have to use like <laughs> a stick foundation and then I'm gonna be using my Revolution Pro full cover camouflage foundation F12 this is quite full coverage to be honest with you I usually don't go this full coverage but this is a doll look so I'm gonna go all in oh wow yep this is a lot of foundation Oh, my nose is running. Uh, I really can't. Mm. You see how full coverage this foundation is? It's so thick. I'm gonna go back in with my concealer and just do my usual highlighting and concealing. You guys should definitely get one of these. This has lasted me like three months or something and this is pretty much like the only concealer that I've been using every time I do my makeup because the little one that Revolution have I'm gonna go quite low with this just because I want my face to be like bigger and rounder even though my face is already quite big. But yeah, I defo recommend that concealer because I don't know, it's just, it's quite, it's like medium to full coverage. I would say that the Tarte one is a little bit more full coverage in that way. I use shade like medium and Tarte. So if you're like medium and Tarte, use C7 from the Makeup Revolution just because um, I think they're quite good matches in that way. All right, what I'm gonna do is use my Primark setting powder. This is the banana shade. And I'm just going to be setting the face and making it super matte and flat like a doll. I'm just gonna set under the eyes, okay? And then use a big powder brush. This is also from Primark and just set the whole face. So first things off, I'm going to be using my Revolution Pigment Pomade in Ocean Blue. Look at this colour, it's sick. It's pretty sick, it's pretty cool. I'm just going to be using a Zoeva 226 smudge up brush and basically I'm going to be cutting the crease with this. What I like to do on some tutorials is basically do one eye off camera and really figure it out in that way so that when I do the other eye it's going to be really really quick because I've already done one eye. So what I'm doing is curving it down from the inner corner, up, and then straight ahead. Usually people like to go straight up, you know, like a, like a cut crease up, but we're keeping it straight because we're gonna add a wing liner on there anyway. Just a very slight blend, and the picture that I'm going off of, I think this Bratz is Jade, because Jade, from what I remember, from not checking like Wikipedia or anything, Jade is the one with black hair and she's the Asian one. 
And then I'm gonna be using my Sugar Pearl Gesso Eyeshadow. I'm running out of this stuff. Um, this is the best white eyeshadow, to be honest, that I've ever used. And I'm just gonna pop that right through the brow bone. And I'm using Crusade. And I'm also gonna be using Indication from the Revolution Pro Trans Mischief Mattes. Um, so I'm gonna be using the lighter blue all over and then cutting the crease even more with the indigo color. Just because there is a definite line um, on the picture of like the crease in that way, so I wanna replicate that. So I'm just applying the lighter blue. And then blend that upwards. I'm actually gonna use my brow brush. This is the Alamasca brush. This is the best like um, brow brush I've ever used. I'm just defining the crease. To actually blend that out, I'm not gonna use the darker blue. I'm using the lighter blue just to smudge out the line because we don't want that to be the main color. The main color is a light blue. If you could go even more pastel with the blue, that would be perfect. Okay, what I'm doing now is using the paper white. I'm actually gonna use the end of this brush to scoop it out, just because I wanna apply that to the back of my hand and then work from that because I don't wanna cross contaminate this with any other colors that might be on my brush. And I don't wanna double dip because then that will have foundation on it. So I'm just warming it up in the back of my hand and then apply that to further cut the crease and then make my new lid shape in that way. So guys, I wanna let you guys know of like my earliest memories of brats. I actually got it as a Christmas present back in the day uh, from my uncles and aunties, from my Zapanta side, from my dad's side. When I was five, um, I got it as like birthday presents and stuff. I always got the guy ones, so like Cameron. But I also played with my sister um, because my sister got like Chloe and like Sasha. I remember like we used to have like the brat stars and stuff and we used to play with them together. Um, but like that's like my earliest memory of it. And then when I was in year six, I don't know how long the show had been going on for. I definitely, definitely, definitely watched the show with my sister again after school. I believe it was on like ITV or something, but me and my sister Jess um, definitely loved watching the show. You know, like, it was like this animated CG um, version of the show, which I freaking loved, honestly. I was obsessed. There was a movie for the Bratz, right? But honestly, that was fictitious, that was fiction. Um, did not really like that one. See, I like a good chick flick, but um, that one, not so much. Not gonna lie. It wasn't a bit of me. I don't know. There's something about you know, the brats being brats and with their big heads and like, you know, you take off their shoes and they have no feet. That was like the whole appeal of it in that way. So the fact that that was gone for the movie, I think that came out in like 2006 or something. I have no idea. It was a long time ago, you guys. It was a long time ago. I'm gonna go back in with my gesso eyeshadow. This is gesso, right? No, gesso is the one from MAC. This one, the sugar pill one's called Taco. Ah, I'm done. Um, yeah, I'm literally just gonna set that. I'm gonna use my Kiko Gel Eyeliner and I'm going to line the eyes. Fun fact, I used to work at Kiko actually um, as a makeup artist and see as assistant. That was actually my first ever like makeup job in that way. As in like, you know, retail. I'm gonna do like a massive wing and I'm actually not doing my wing onto my lash line. I'm going outwards because I'm gonna draw a new lash line in that way. You see how big I'm doing this liner? It's pretty major. What I'm gonna do with the paper white is just pop that into the waterline. I use the back end of a brush just because it's so much smoother and it doesn't tickle as much as if you would use a brush. And then using the brush and I'm gonna draw onto my actual lash line and just draw 
a new waterline. Okay. Again, going ahead with taco. Um, I'm gonna swap liners now. I'm gonna use my little revolution liner and then draw just like a black line across at the bottom of where we pop that new waterline. What I'm gonna do um, is just run that across the lower. Bit of mascara, this is collection volumizing mascara. I'm only popping them on the top, just because on the bottom we've created the new waterline where we've covered the lashes, so you don't wanna pop black onto that. And then um, for lashes, I'm gonna be using Isla Enchanted in Divine Crime and a pair of custom 301s that I've made. Cute. That's pretty much like the eyes done, right? <gasps> yeah! Oh shit, I'm excited. This look is cute. This look is cool. I like it. I'm gonna be using my Clinique Press Powder in Ginger just to like contour the face slightly, even though like bright thoughts don't really have much dimension on their face. I just like to. I'm gonna be using my Patrick Star um, blush in Take Me Take Me Home. And I'm applying my blush quite low. Because that's what um that's what the picture has. The highlight is pretty bright on the picture, so I'm gonna be using Mary Luminizer from the Balm. And I'm applying it actually quite low. I'm also gonna contour my nose as well because mm, my nose is pretty big. And brats have got tiny little noses. After that, okay, so on this side of the face, she's got a beauty mark right there. This specific doll has a super, super pale, pale pink lip. Um, I'm gonna use my Essence Liner in Soft Berry and then use my Mala Cosmetics in Home? Rome. And then use my Gloss Me Up from Barry M called PDA. <laughs> oh my gosh, love this combo. I love a pale lip, I just can't wear it too much. It's just like, it doesn't really suit my skin. But for this kind of like extra look, it's fine. Mmm. Let me get dressed and come back. So guys, this is the final look. Ah! I'm not being funny, but this looks, this is, um, this is iconic. This is so cool. I love it. I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in love with it, you guys. So it's currently um, two o'clock in the morning and um, I've just finished this look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, you guys. I hope that, um, it's a little bit more creative than what I usually do. I hope that it's a little bit different to the other Bratz challenges as well. And I hope that you like my spin, my take on the Bratz challenge as well. I leave a link down below to the picture that I was inspired by and also tag me on your Bratz challenges. Why not do that? And anyway, you guys, I love you guys, all five of you. 